and new at 10 tonight, family, friends, and fans celebrated the life of El Paso basketball legend Willie Cager. Cager was known for his talents and love for the game. He was a part of the 1966 Texas Western College team that took home the NCAA title. Cager died last month at the age of 81. ABC 7's Carrie Mannix was at the celebration tonight and joins us live in the studio. Carrie, he was also known as dedicated to this community. Yeah, that's right. Well, Eric and Stephanie, it was an emotional night filled with tears and laughter as loved ones remembered the iconic Willie Cager. Cager, of course, widely known for his basketball career. He played for Texas Western, which later became UTEP. He died on the 57th anniversary of the team winning the NCAA championship with coach Don Haskins. It was the first team with an all-black starting lineup to win a championship. The story inspired the book and movie Glory Road. But tonight, we got a glimpse into his life beyond basketball. All three of his children speaking tonight not only of the impact he had on the community, but especially on the children of the borderland. His youngest son had a message that says he, that he says embodied Cager not only as a father, but as a figure in the community. Of the kids today that I've asked to be brought into this world, we as parents brought them to this world. It doesn't matter if it's a sport, whatever activity it is. If you can be there for your child, be there. And Cager's legacy lives on, not only with his children, but within the community. Before his death, Cager set up, among other things, a foundation to help educate at-risk kids and teach them about leadership. Learn more about Cager's legacy by visiting our website. Carrie Mannix, ABC7.